Anyone else? Thank you. Uh, David Tanner, can I get permission, please? Should Thank be. you very much. Can I have permission as well, please? Should be. You. Thank you. Right. Audio and video. That's us recording. Can everyone hear us? Yeah. Cool. Um, we're we're a bit um, we're a bit tight for time here, folks. Quite a bit to get through this morning. So, start with David Tanner, and uh, we'll work from there. Keep an eye on your chat. It'll be David Tanner through to Andy Newport and on to Alison. So, go ahead, David. Hey, stuff. Uh, morning, Tav. Nice to see you. Morning, morning. Uh, can I ask you, the UEFA have uh, thrown up the possibility of, a, if you get through what will be a tough tie in Holland, a game against uh, the Spurs, possibly Gareth Bale and all the rest of it. What are your thoughts on that and, and how prepared are Rangers for a, a big test against an English team, which you've not really had yet? Well, first of all, we've got to get past the next stage, you know. Um, so our full concentration will be on that game, um, going over to Holland. But yeah, you know, this, these European runs... Um, you always want you always want the big names, and it's exciting to see all these uh, big names that we can that we can play against uh, in the playoff round. But first and foremost, we've got to get there first. So you know we have to concentrate on that game first before looking beyond that. Go ahead, Andy, please. <coughs> Hi, James. Uh, another goal last night. I think that's three games running you've scored now. Um, the two that interest me though were the, the two ones you've scored at the back post. I just wonder if if that's been something the managers. Ask you to do this season is to get yourself further and you know tucked in uh, when you know Borna's on the other side and, and you know, getting these crossing opportunities. Have you been asked to sort of try and contribute more at that back post area? Um, not at all. Um, it's just one of those things where um, I might have just um, took a chance and uh, gone into the box. Um, it's nothing that's came from the the management or the the coaches. Um, it's just one of those things where maybe I did it in my early days uh, when I came here. Uh, just getting in that back post the odd times, but just one of those where I've been in the right place at the right time and delighted to contribute to the uh, for the team. Alison, go ahead, please. <coughs> when you look at the way that you've started the season and the results that you've got, if you compare this to the other seasons that you've been at Rangers, how much stronger do you feel at the moment in terms of the squad? Um, well, I believe the season, our, strug- uh, our squad's got even stronger. Um, the, the management, the recruitment, and Obviously, the board have done an amazing job to to find uh, the players that we need, and and obviously to bring them in. You know, we've obviously been hit with a few injuries, and you've seen the players that have came in to replace them, and people that came back from injury. We've got an amazing squad this season, so it's only right that it's showing on the pitch for how well we're doing because we've got a great squad pushing each other on every single day of the training pitch, and you know, if the the squad's rotated um, like it was uh, last night. Um, players are coming in doing a job what the, the gaffer wants so it's really good and it's really exciting Raman go ahead please Hi James James I just wondered if uh, you think um, Nathan Patterson that was, I think it was his second Euro run out last night um, whether he's got a big big future of him uh, ahead of him sorry at Rangers Yeah I'm delighted for Nathan you know he's he's a great lad he's a great lad to have in the changing room you know he's like a sponge he soaks everything in um, he gets he gets his head down and works really hard, and I believe he does have a big future at Rangers, uh, or a big future in football. You know, he's, he's got great attributes um, to his game, and you know, as long as he keeps working hard as he is now, and you know, he'll have a, a very good future. Kachek, are you back on penalty kick duties now? Am I back on pens? Um, it gets decided. Can't be revealing anything yet. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Morning, James. Um, I was going to ask that. Would you feel that there's kind of parallels to your your first season at Rangers in, in the sense that you I know you you normally get forward and, and get you know kind of shots off and crosses off anyway, but the amount you're kind of getting on the score sheet and, and creating, do you feel there are parallels with the first season that you had in the Championship? Um, you could say so. Yeah. Um, obviously, the Championship squad that we had then uh, was very strong to to play in the Championship, and I think that's obviously. The same case now, you know, this, 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 the squad's got a lot stronger. Um, we've got great quality in the squad and, you know, that allows players, including myself, to, you know, to express ourselves even more. Um, so so it, it's, it's great to play in. I'm, I'm really excited about this season and, you know, all the boys are, are looking forward to it. 
Jordan, go ahead, please. Hi, James. Um, obviously, you're into your, your sixth season at Rangers now. Um, there's also been a lot of highs and lows in that time. Um, you're going through a, a good spell just now, but see, as captain, obviously, there's maybe a lot more pressure, a lot more focus on you. How, how equipped do you feel that you are to deal with the criticism that comes your way when things go badly? And have you learned to deal with that better as your career's gone on at Rangers? Yeah, it's, it's part of passing, you know. Um, as a captain and as a manager, you know, any any bad result, you know, we're going to be in the front firing line um, in front of everybody. And, you know, I'm, I'm a strong enough character to, to take it. Um, all the criticism, you know, I take it and, and put it to one side, you know. I'm really strong mentally. So going forwards, you know, it doesn't phase us. Um, if it's going into the games or going to seasons, you know, I'm, I'm stronger than ever, always wanting to learn, always wanting to improve. So, you know, it's, it's a challenge, you know, being a captain. And, you know, I take it with, full, with both hands and, you know, I relish it. And I want to obviously do my hardest doing it. Craig, please. Hi, James. I believe you're on 49 uh, Rangers goals. How fitting would it be to score your 50th at obviously the ground that you scored your first? Um, if I can get on the score sheet or if I can help the, the team with an assist, you know, I'm, I'd be delighted. Um, you know, all I want is to come away with three points. And that's our um, first and foremost um, plan going over to Hibs on Sunday. Um, I obviously want to keep a clean sheet. I'd rather keep a clean sheet than get on the score sheet. Um, but if it happens, it happens. And I'll obviously be delighted. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.